Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L. Oh, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you very much for the support, love, the comments. Uh, right now, I'm at 400 subscribers or plus somewhere around there. Thank you guys very much for actually coming to the channel, supporting the channel, liking the videos, commenting below. Um, so for you giving me this, I'm going to give you some themes for Cakewalk. I know a lot of people have been asking me, hey man, what theme is that you're using? And I tell them I'm kind of modifying some of the stuff that's in there. So today I'm actually going to be giving away two themes uh, inside of Cakewalk. It's going to be a light one and a dark one. So, um, you want to come along I'm gonna show you how to actually download it get it onto your uh, cakewalk so you can actually use these themes that I'm giving away let's go all right so here is the basic Tuscan style that actually comes with cakewalk this is what you'll get or you'll get the uh, the mercury uh, one so uh, as you see you know it gives you a regular plain kind of a blackish background uh, the piano roll gives that black piano roll uh, the orange keys in here, um, or whatever you're actually on. Um, as you see, the faders and different things are, are pretty much the same, real basic. Um, the knobs are, are a certain way as well. Um, and you see how it gives that, uh, it gives those little lines for your meters. Um, I actually changed a lot of that in uh, in my actual uh, theme that I actually have. So let's kind of go through it. And as you can see, like even in the, uh, the step sequencer, it's, you know, that black and the, the gray uh, in here as well. So um, let's go through and see what the other theme looks like. But before we actually do that, uh, let me tell you how to actually get it when you actually download it. All right, so once you actually download it, you're gonna get it uh, in the zip file. So you'll have these two. Uh, it's called the XL Silver Ocean and the XL Dark Ocean. So the dark one is the dark and the silver is the light one. Uh, so those are the two versions you'll actually be getting uh, once you actually download uh, the link below. So in order to actually get there, you have to actually know where your Cakewalk folder is. So this is where, uh, mine is actually under my C drive and then go to Cakewalk Content. So once you actually in your Cakewalk Content, you go down to Cakewalk Themes, and you will drag and drop those files. So you'll drag and drop these into this uh, Cakewalk Themes folder. So that way you'll be able to actually pull them up. So you see I have a couple of things in here um, that I've downloaded from other users. Um, really, really cool people online that actually have their stuff on it. All right, so now that you know how to actually get it on there, let me show you what you're actually getting. So if you go up to edit and then you hit on preferences or you can just hit the P on your keyboard that will take you straight to your preferences. You will come to your uh, preferences and this is how it'll look. So you'll have um, all your things in here. You'll see a themes in here and down here you see it's set on basic. Um, if you haven't already, I would uh, just suggest to hit on advanced just so you'll have more options when you're actually trying to look for things or set things up. So down here is customization section is where you wanna be. You're gonna go into themes. And as you see, it shows you that corner of, uh, of the Tuscan. This is Tuscan and uh, this is Mercury. So uh, Mercury actually has that light appeal to it. As you can see, it gives that light appeal uh, and it gives like a pasty kind of color for your tracks and your console as well. And once again, it still gives that uh, the meters kind of uh, give the little line, the little dashboard dashes on there. Um, the piano roll is kind of uh, just white. And I always like the way this uh, step sequencer looks. So I did kind of keep this one for my light theme as well. All right, so as you see, like your, your bar here is yellow and your um, 
other measurements are uh, kind of green. So if you go into say your pen roll, see how the green option up here, and this is yellow. And if you just select a section, this one is actually like a black, grayish, dark grayish kind of look to it. But yeah, this is basically the, uh, the mercury look. So I kind of took the mercury look, which you actually do when you actually send it up in like the, the theme editor. Um, it's a it's a headache to actually go in there. If you, if you really want to do it, you take the challenge. I say go ahead and do it. Um, but I used this uh, this one called the Dark Ocean. This is the one that a lot of you guys seen. Um, it's actually from this Grand Vista blue. Uh, this person, Kenops. I, I know I'm butchering your name. I'm so sorry. But uh, Kenops, or well, yes, I, I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. But he actually made this Grand Vista Black and Blue uh, 100, and he has like these um, these like shiny buttons and shiny things on there, the old Vista kind of style, and I really liked it. So all I did was kind of improvise on some of the things that he had on there that uh, that wasn't changed, like even this like performance up here. Um, I changed that. I changed a, a couple of other things, and I made all of my um, my lines solid lines for like your, uh, your uh, EQs inside your control panel or even the volumes on here, all of them are actually blue as I'll show you. So basically we go down to, uh, let's go to the dark ocean and hit apply. All right, so as you see, I lightened up my uh, clips plane pane up here. So I can actually see a little bit better. And I also did that inside the piano roll. So my piano roll, everything comes out blue. And inside of my uh, step sequencer, it is now a darker gray and a lighter gray. And it also has that still that same Vista Kind of a shine to it for all of the buttons all of the play buttons in here have that in there uh, if you look at this compressor the compressor has that uh that gloss look to it and also the uh the eq and the tube over here also have that gloss look and i, I really liked it that's why i kept it um you know i made this blue i made these uh, performance up here blue um the uh, actual meters are now actually blue and they are uh, solid meters they are not the little dashes those are solid meters so if you go into your console view you'll also see that they are solid these are solid uh, solid meters and I actually added the blue lines inside there inside the faders and the little light blue also inside of the fader itself I changed the uh, pan knobs and this one is green and this one is blue um, it was it was something that I kind of just wanted to actually get and, and actually feel like this is mine so I, I kind of just did those little modifications to his uh, and made that one uh, the other one that's my uh, actual light one I actually made from scratch so let's see that one. So and this is my um, my silver theme. Um, it is basically like the Tuscan, but I actually lightened up up here. It's not dark anymore. And I also put the blue and the, the white up here so I can give it a little bit of a different kind of feel. Um, the letters and things are still kind of the same on there. Um, and of course, once again, the, uh, the meters are solid meters on here. And I also still kept the, the lines a little faded for the uh, for the actual track here. So uh, my piano roll still has the blue and it still has the, the gray uh, like it does up here and in the other uh, view as well. Uh, my step sequencer I did keep it as this this uh, this uh, Mercury. So.
and as you see the blue lines on there uh, when you're actually adding uh, keys into the uh, step sequencer I really like the way that looks uh, that's why I kept it that way and in the console I didn't do the blue line in the middle I kind of left it gray with a black outline and I changed the fader color on here I also changed the knobs as you can see and um, yeah man so it's just one of those things that um, I kind of wanted to give to you guys as a gift for actually uh, subscribing to the channel so here you go two themes for you man and once again y'all it's your boy x.e.l.o and if you're like i said new here or if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe hit that bell notification and that'll let y'all know when i drop another video and i said thank you 100 for the support guys until the next time